What's up, YouTube? This is Bat Crescent 068 coming to you today with some NBA 2K14 gameplay and a very special real life NBA edition commentary. So, the big news this past week was that LeBron James elected to go to Cleveland rather than renew his contract with Miami, which is incredible news. And I wanted to put out this video to share with you my thoughts on LeBron's second decision. And I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments as well. So, but before I get to that, I'd like to first talk a little bit about the game. This is obviously NBA 2K14. It's for the PS3. The only reason I have this game is because it's free, or it was free. It was last month's free game on PSN, which, I mean, the PlayStation Plus program is phenomenal, and I will rave about that and how amazing it is on another video. But 2K14, mm, on the PS3, it's, it's okay. It's not phenomenal, it's not terrible, it's okay. I, I had a little bit of fun with it, but as you can tell, I wanna preface this commentary by saying that I am the world's worst 2K14 player. Literally, like I, I, I could compete for the Guinness Book of World Records in terms of being the worst 2K player in the world. I mean, I, I'm terrible. I never understood, I mean, I'm okay at the my player mode, okay. I created a little Rick Ross clone, because you know, in case you don't know, I'm slightly obsessed with Rick Ross. I may or may not have his picture in my bedroom. <laughs> not answering that question. But anyway, I created a little Rick Ross guy and I, I did okay with that. But in terms of actually playing the game and controlling all five people, I'm garbage. So that's the reason why, I, yes, I'm playing on Rookie and I'm still playing terrible. But I mean, 2K14, it's, it's okay. I hear it's a lot better on PS4. At this point, it's way too late in the season for me to be buying 2K14 for PS4. I plan on getting 2K15 though, so I will definitely give it my full attention and I will definitely give it its fair share of time and try to put some time in it to learn it and everything like that and try to get some 2K commentaries out to y'all next year. But the game, I mean, to me, it looks worse on PS3 than 2K10 did which is just pitiful. I mean, I understand you got the next gen coming up, but come on now. You can't even just copy and paste the graphics from 2K10. I mean, I, I don't know what it is about this game. When when you pause it, when you go into instant replay mode, it, it looks okay. It doesn't look phenomenal, but it, it looks okay. But the moment you put that thing into motion, it looks like absolute puke. I mean, it just looks disgusting. Another big issue with the game is that literally, there are kicked balls every other play. There there are hundreds of kicked ball violations. It's ridiculous. I literally think they mistook the game and actually shipped it under the wrong name because it should have shipped under Kicked Ball Violation Simulator 2014. That's the name they should have gone for. It's ridiculous how many kicked ball violations you get in a single game. I mean, it's, it's ludicrous. But enough about the game, and let me start talking about the LeBron James news. I personally was astonished when he went back to Cleveland. I firmly believed that he would stay in Miami and the big three would restructure their contracts or something like that so they could stick together. But I am astonished and exuberant that he went back to Cleveland. Since I believe this is my first NBA video, let me share with you my NBA opinions and stuff like that. I was a big LeBron James fan when he played in Cleveland the first time. I liked him vastly better than the other best player in the league, if you get what I'm saying, Kobe Bryant. Um, I, I was a big fan of LeBron's. And then in 2010, he made the decision. And once again, as countless sports commentators have talked about and debated and pointed out, it wasn't the fact that he left Cleveland, it was the fact that he did it in the way he did. I'm not gonna elaborate on that. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you keep up with the NBA at least in some capacity. So you know the decision and all that. I thought that really opened up a window into his personality. I thought he was kind of a jerk, so I stopped liking him. I did not like Miami because I thought that was just so cheap 
of them to compare LeBron, them being the media, of course, to Jordan after LeBron had to team up with two other, I mean, big superstars to get one championship. When Jordan pretty much, I mean, he had his solid supporting cast, but he had nobody. I'm sorry, I don't think Scottie Pippen's as good as Dwayne Wade. He's probably as good as Chris Bosh, but he's not as good as Dwayne Wade. So I was really sick of them trying to say, oh, LeBron's better than Jordan. Anyway, so I was not a Heat fan. I firmly rooted for the Spurs, and I was really glad they won this championship because, in my opinion, the Heat made basketball, at least in the East, boring. Because it's like, oh, I wonder who's going to go to the championship. There's the Pacers, but oh, wait, they imploded. Um, hmm. I'm going to go with Miami, since they're the only team who actually has a chance of winning. And it just made basketball really boring. So I am thrilled LeBron went back to Cleveland, because to me it shows that he is more mature. He realized he made a mistake with the decision, and once again, not the decision he made, but the fact that he made the decision, the television show, that was the mistake. So I'm really happy he's in Cleveland, and this makes the East so much more interesting now because now you Miami's still a contender because they still have Bosch and maybe they'll resign May, Wade I don't know you know Carmelo went back to New York which is the second part of this video and you know th the East is just a whole lot more exciting now so the other part of this video is that Pau Gasol went to Chicago which really shocked me I didn't think he would go there I didn't really think he would leave LA but I'm surprised he went there and also, Carmelo Anthony re-signed with New York. This is very interesting to me because, once again, I mean, the whole caveat to this whole conversation with the Bulls is, will Derrick Rose stay healthy? And that changes everything if he's not healthy. But if he stays healthy, and now all of a sudden they have Gasol, and they have Noah, who's emerging into, in my opinion, almost a superstar. He is playing really well. He's getting really good. They have Todd Gibson, who's another excellent defender. You know, they have a decent supporting cast in the rest of the team. You know, if they have Rose, they're all of a sudden, they're a championship contender, which that makes the East a lot more interesting. And New York, obviously, they still have a ways to go, but they got their franchise player in Carmelo Anthony. And I, I think with Phil Jackson being the president of basketball operations now, they're going to get more and more good players, and they're going to inch closer and closer towards getting a championship. So the East is just really interesting. So there you have it, guys. Those are my thoughts on the LeBron situation, on the Pau Gasol and Carmelo Anthony, and all the events that have happened in the NBA this past week. Please let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on LeBron and all the other things we talked about or anything else NBA related or you can just post what a terrible NBA 2k player I am you're more than welcome to do that I already know it but go ahead blow up the comments with that but uh, please like the video comment the video and subscribe if you want to see more videos and thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day